Runaway train, take four. Action. Hi, you're from Nebraska, y'all. It's Square Peg. <laughs> I'm having trouble with this one today. I keep getting derailed on my runaway train. <laughs> All right, so the other day in Jason's live stream, someone, a subscriber, I assume with the handle of runaway train, gave me a suggestion for a video that might be easier to understand. And in my attempts to do that, I did the opposite of that. <laughs> so I would like to apologize right up front to the person with the handle of Runaway Train because this is not the video you wanted. This is more of me going all over the place on a topic instead of just picking two dates and working with the dates alone. And so we're hopping around from date to date. Uh, and I think that's what the gist of what he was saying was just compare two dates, right? So my next video will do that, all right? But in the meantime, I did find some cool things related to runaway trains. And there's a mystery at the end, which I love. So we're going to get started. I started out in 1993 with a soul asylum song, Runaway Train Never Going Back. Yeah? Couldn't get it out of my head, and I, that's probably why I abandoned what I was doing and got started on this, because I couldn't get that song out of my head. Uh, I didn't find anything else related to Runaway Trains in that year. Probably, well, maybe, because this song is really famous. It's huge. It's a big blip, because... Uh, it had to do with runaways. When they made the video, they did it about runaways. So it was very famous and it might have blotted out any other events that have happened in that year. But the other thing that popped up, and it wasn't that year, but it did pop up. And in fact, it popped up everywhere, is this movie called Runaway Train in 1985. Apparently, even though I've never heard of it, a very famous movie. And I could just kept seeing it everywhere. Runaway Train, 1985. So I started out with these two. So I put them on opposite sides of the track here so that I could keep them separate from each other. And then I'm working with two flip dates, which makes it a little more complicated as well. So you start out with your dates that are in the past and you flip them into the future, but then you, each one is going to give you a new date. So you have two dates in the future. And so then you take the one that doesn't match and you flip it back and you end up with another date in the past. I hope that that's clear. I'm sure that that's perfectly mud, but maybe it'll become a little more clear as we go. So let's start out. I numbered these for myself, right? So we're going to start by flipping 1985, and we're going to come over here to 2011. So let's see here. 13 years from 85 to 98, and another 13 years brings us to 2011. So what happened in 2011 that might have been related to Runaway Train? Well, Gosh darn it, there was a lot of songs. A lot of songs. And most of them were not very good. There was one song I really liked, and it's by a band called The Green, and they are a reggae band, and that's a really good song. The rest of them, not so much. There was even a couple of albums that were called Runaway Train in the same year, but uh, the interweb would not let me listen to them, so I have no idea if they were any good or not. Uh, that's all I found in 2011. A lot of music related to Runaway Train. All right, so then we take the 1985 and we flip it over 2001, which is 16 years, and then 16 plus 2001 brings us to 2017. So in 2017, very interesting, and I found this to be true with another set of movies I was looking at, Stephen King movies, that the original reflects the remake. So this year was the year that the remake of this Runaway Train movie came out. 
So I'm wondering now, it's another project for me sometime, is, uh, is that always true? Does the remake always come out in a year that is isometric to the original? I would be very curious to know about that. So I might poke around with that sometime when I have some free time. <laughs> oh, so silly. So, so in addition to the remake of that movie, there was a video game called Runaway Train. There was another song and Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band named their summer tour Runaway Train. All right, so there's four and number five. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing that we did with 85. We're gonna come over here and do it with 93. So five years to 98 and another five years to 2003. And we've got another video game and two real runaway train events. One in Melbourne and the other one in Commerce City, California. All right, number six. All right, so now we're taking 93 and flipping it over the second flip date. And we come to 09, so that's eight years, eight years. And in 09, another song named Runaway Train. This one's by ACDC. We have a kid's pop-up book. So when you open up the pages and something pops up uh, vertically out of the book, and I kind of thought that this was maybe a scary topic for kids that are little enough to appreciate a pop-up book, but nonetheless, there we are. And another movie, this one is a subway movie, a runaway subway, The Taking of Pelham 123. All right. And number seven, all right, we're going back over here. So now we're gonna take these dates that we found new and we're gonna flip them back. One of them's gonna hit 1985, right? But then we're gonna get new dates as well. So the first one here is 91. And boo, boo, boo. which one brings us to 91? Okay, 10 years to 01 and then 10 more years to 91. Okay. And what happened in 91? We have two more songs called Runaway Train, and I wrote here, awful. <laughs> Most of the songs that are called Runaway Train are songs that I would not listen to again. The only two that I actually liked was the Soul Asylum one and the the Green. I forget where, where that one falls now, but that was a good one too. So, what do we have in 1991? Two more songs that are awful, but an actual uh, subway, runaway subway. So we had the runaway subway movie in 09, and then in 91 we had the actual runaway subway. Uh, it derailed, the, the engineer was drunk. He ended up doing prison time, five people died. It was a real wreck. He continued to drink after the accident before they tested his blood alcohol. Probably not the wisest decision, but you know, he was he was not feeling too good, I guess, you know. He was uninjured, so I'm sure he felt really horrible. All right, number eight. So number eight is gonna take 2017, flip it over 1998, and that is 19 years, another 19 years in the past, is 1979. So 1979, we know, connects to next year. So when I saw that 1979 pop up, I always said, oh shoot, are we looking at a, at a runaway train incident next year? So I, I tucked that away in the back of my head and in the meantime, we can say that 1979 had a Utah Amtrak incident, and it also had a made-for-TV movie starring William Shatner, the king of overacting himself, in Disaster on the Coastliner. He did all of his own stunts, and he said it was the scariest thing he ever did was a stunt that he did for that movie. Disaster on the Coastliner in 1979. All right. So we're going to tuck that 79 away in the back of our heads, and we're going to move on. And we come to number nine, and we're doing the same thing on this side, right? We're taking these future dates that we found and flipping them back to find new dates in the past. And we've got 
1999, 2003, flips over 2001, two years, another two years, to 1999, and it just happens to be number nine in my list, which, kind of cool. All right, the only thing that happened in 1999 that I found Runaway Train related is a movie called Atomic Train, and I think it starred Rob Lowe, if I recall. All right, so... <clears throat> Number 10. Did I write down how we got to this one? Plus 14 years to 2001? No, that's not it. Because I had to stop at some point. At some point, you got to stop or you can do this just forever, right? So I never did find this one that I was looking for. Spain derailment and a Quebec um, huge runaway train thing. I don't know if it destroyed the whole town, but it was a big explosion. Uh, so, 87. How did I get to 87? This is what I'm curious about. Ah. 2009 minus 11 years brings us to 1998. Minus 11 years brings us to 1987. All right. And what did we have in 1987? Holy smokes, a whole bunch of things. There were four songs called Runaway Train. One of them was Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Another one was a duet between Eric Clapton and Elton John shortly after Eric's son had died. I didn't actually listen to that one, so that one might be good too. I don't know. And then there were four real Runaway Train incidences. There was a sabotage in Montana where three locomotives were loosed on purpose. Someone pulled the brakes and a hobo got hit. He survived broken ribs. There was a hangry engineer in Massachusetts. He popped off real quick to grab a candy bar, and by the time he got back, uh, the train had taken off without him. There was an ore train, I think it was a coal mine in New Brunswick, some sort of mine, an ore train, it says. And then the really cool one I think they should make a movie about, maybe they could get William Shatter to do it, um, Corporal Carson caught a runaway train in Ontario. And you gotta be like local boy hero for that one. That's pretty cool. And then, so four songs, four real events. And then there was a ride, an amusement park ride. It was originally called Runaway Train. It has since been renamed, but it was at Chessington Adventure Park in England, right? So now I'm thinking, wait a minute. Huh, 1979, I'm thinking Runaway Train. Maybe it's a ride. Wouldn't that be cool, huh? So I was feeling uh, more confident to look it up now, you know? Like, well, if it's a ride, then it's probably already planned. And I could find it by typing in 2023 Runaway Train. And that's the same search that I did for all of these. I put in the year and Runaway Train for all of them. And wouldn't you know it... <laughs> In January of 2023, there is going to be an amusement park ride. I kid you not. It is called Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It's going to be in Disneyland in Anaheim, California. It opens January 27th of 2023. And it is in celebration of the 100th anniversary of Walt Disney Company which I talked about when I did my very first new Carrington event video because that's how I got started on isometrics. I had found a whole bunch of events in 1923 that connected to the, the internet or precursors of the internet in entertainment, communication, and information. Two of those were Warner Brothers and Walt Disney started that year. So I already knew that a 100-year anniversary was happening for Walt Disney next year. I did not know that they were planning to have a ride opening in January with the theme of Runaway Train. <laughs> this blows my mind. Always, always. I'm surprised I can continue to think about anything else with the number of times that I blow my own mind. So, yes, there's going to be a runaway train in 2023. I, I'm not making the prediction, though, because I already looked it up and found it. <laughs> and I, I, 
I don't, I'm going to say no one's going to die. No one's going to get hurt. There's not going to be any explosions. It's just going to be fun for all the people who go to Disneyland next year. All right. And I think that's it. I think I've covered it. This is uh, the runaway train that derailed pretty much my entire day at this point, especially because I'm on take four now. <laughs> All right. I better make sure my camera doesn't shut off on me again. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. And don't let your day get derailed either. <laughs> See you next time. Bye-bye.